Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So today folks, we are going to be creating a new habitat for a rehouse for our Ceratogyrus meridionalis. Now it's actually only currently housed in this small tub here. In fact, you may well be able to make out the spider here, I'm not so sure. My eyesight's terrible, so I can't see from here. We'll get better shots in a moment. And we're actually going to be housing it in one of our new BTS pickup enclosures, which is this one here, much more appropriate sized. Now, being a baboon, it tends to web up its whole area and create its own burrow. So we have no need for a hide. Now, some of this substrate is still a little too damp for their liking. They do like it dry. However, it's mixed in with what I had left of my dry substrate. So hopefully that will finish drying in no time. But I don't just want a pet hole with a lot of webbing, nor do I just want a pet hole with a lot of webbing and a few bits of bark chucked in for an added feature and anchor points. So what else can I use for an anchor point? Well, I'll show you what I had in mind. One, two, three pieces of aquarium decor, all parts of the same colour that can make up almost a ruined castle. Now I didn't want to add four, I thought that might be a little bit too much. So I'm thinking front piece, back piece, possibly a side piece, maybe dig some in, make it look crumbled. And I was thinking we should call this castle. Meridionalis. Let's pop it in and see how it looks. So here's a top angle view. I'm glad I didn't buy a fourth piece because there's no way that would have fit in here. So if I come round to the front now, it's like a half sunk front of a castle. We come round to the side and it looks like more ruined parts, an old tower that's kind of collapsed and caved in. And we move to the back piece, which, well, to be fair, we won't really be doing the view from this angle. But at least you can see that there used to be a wall that's crumbled away over time. Let's add something more for an added effect. So here, is the added touches. I have crumbled up some old oak leaves. Now these leaves were cleaned and prepared previously. And I've added moss around the edges. A tarantula like this will not require moss in its environment. I just want to make that clear. This moss is absolutely bone dry completely and utterly bone dry. I have actually had it for over a year and I just thought it added that spooky old ruin type effect. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Castle Meridionalis? Anyway, I guess the next step is to add the spider. Let's get on with it, shall we? So there he is, just on this side, excuse the fact that uh, phone is going off in the background or Facebook or something, I don't know exactly what's going on there, it's not mine. <laughs> anyway, you can see that it's not that big still, it's still a sling, but a good size sling on its way to its juvenile stage. I'm going to cut this because that is really annoying me in the background. So we're just going to remove the lid of this one. It's very very skittish now we're going to be placing this on the top to get him out i'm hoping these ventilation holes are not too big So there we have the spider contained in the cup. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see from this angle, but they have sort of fluorescent green on the toes there. And you can't escape because I've got a good bit of cardboard underneath. If we have a look at the old enclosure, you can see how well 
it's completely webbed that up with little burrows. That's why they don't require an actual hide. They use the fake plant there as anchor points. So let's hope it webs that castle up really, really well. Let's pop it in now. So we're simply going to remove this piece of card. And I'm going to try and put this nearer the side that's higher up. So if the spider were to make a fall, it wouldn't go too far down. Now you've got to kind of coax it downwards gently. So I actually cut the footage there because he's been incredibly stubborn about moving and I found it easier to do off the camera. But as you can see, he's now in his new home. This is actually an unsexed tarantula, I say he, but I'm not actually sure. So this is actually a shot from the back of the enclosure. So the tarantula is actually sitting where would be the front entrance to the castle, which is pretty cool. And now folks, all we're gonna have to do is wait a while see how well it takes the enclosure, see how well it webs it up, and then we'll see if we can get some feeding footage for you. That's it, We're having a little explore <laughs> over the wall of your castle. Right, while well, it's under that lip there, We'll skip ahead time. So, I've now given it around eight or nine days and things didn't quite go the way that I was hoping. Let me show you now. So, as we move up here, if I go a little further, you can see that one strand of silk there behind the main gate of the castle, as it were. And that is pretty much the only part of the top that this tarantula has actually webbed in this enclosure. But that's actually a pretty good sign because if we look over here, it's created a burrow. Now these tarantulas are supposed to burrow and it obviously didn't have an adequate enough substrate in its previous home to be comfortable to do so. And I'm pretty sure it will web some more up a little bit later, but just down in there lurks our little tarantula. So I'm going to be popping the lid off in a moment and see if we can give it a feed. But just before the feed, this is the back angle so you can see the seal of the enclosure. I always put this at the back. If we go down, you can look down here and you can see one part of its burrow there. There's actually two parts. There's one part here and the main part here all webbed up nicely. So it's obviously made a comfortable home for itself in Castle Meridionalis. Anyway, let's get that lid off and see if we can get a takedown. So this is a top angle look of the castle and you can see that it's actually used some of the edging of the moss there around its burrow entrance, which is pretty cool. The other cool thing I find is the entrance to the castle piece is here. This is the back piece, so it's actually made its burrow, oh, I've hit that strand, underneath the back piece of the castle, which I just think works really, really well. So what I'm going to be doing now is grabbing a red runner and we will see if we can get a feed. Here's our red runner. Oh, dropped him. No! I can't actually see if the tarantula is taking it down. Bear with me one second. I've tried to move my lighting to see if we can get a better look inside. I think he definitely snatched that roach there. Oh, I'm so gutted. I'm really sorry, guys. But this video was made way in advance to be coming out on this date. You know, creating one and leaving it eight or nine days is bit of a pain sometimes for a YouTuber. I really can't 
wait another week or so to feed this tea to see if it will take it down. So I actually managed to pop a light behind the back entrance of the burrow, the bit that you could see through the plastic, and you can just make out the tarantula there, just about uh, eating the roach. So at least we got to see it one last time, even though it's only part of it and only briefly. And there's another view of the abdomen of the tarantula. Perhaps if I move the camera down this way, yeah, we can see some movement. There we go. We've got a bit of a happy dance going on in there. Yay, we did get some footage of it after all. Oh, that's cheered me right up. I was so, so disappointed just now. We're going to give a bit more of a turn. So, if you are new to my channel guys and are unaware, I do have a Patreon page, the link to that will be in my description below, along with a link to my merchandising site, where we bring out limited edition Bug Realms t-shirts, featuring various inverts every couple of months. And I hope you enjoyed the video, even though we missed the takedown. Thanks for watching everyone, take care, bye bye.